biscuit went missing, never to be seen again. One day I came home from school and I said, biscuit? I said, Ma, he's, he's not there and he was gone. And I swear, two years later, I could still hear him in the walls. <laughs> I swear. We're getting married, honey. We are getting married. Ah, uh, stay soon. Uh, <laughs> stay soon. It's like it's an exam or something. It's not so It's soon. coming up. Yeah, and damn straight, you're going to be married to me forever. I'm going to trap you. Need you need to really get on with your suit. Yeah, I know. We've got an episode coming up about grooming and suits. Oh, do we? Well, I, yeah. Where's I... my episode about dresses? We've done about four episodes. No, we have do... not. Yes, we have. And each time you do an episode, it's like, oh, I've changed my dress again. I've changed my I've dress again. I've not changed yet. I just haven't seen it. Are you excited about getting married to me? Mm -hmm. Or is this really drawing it out, this podcast? What I'm really excited about is to get a dog. And I feel like getting married is where it, it, it sort of happens. Sophie, obviously, she took her break from the podcast because she went out to Portugal to go and get this bloody dog. Uh, or see it's this not just some bloody dog. Well, you got this little dog, and now you're obsessed with getting a dog. Yeah, because I'm emotional and I like animals, just because you hate all animals. Why don't you just put a lead on me, and you can take me out for peas, and then I'm a dog? Well, I already have you, but you're like a big pig. I'd rather have like a cute little cuddly dog. I would be the cuddly dog. I, I, you I, are for anything, but oh, you are too cuddly. Far <laughs> too cuddly. You know, you know, you're too big. I need like a little sweet, cozy. Dog. What type of dog do you want? A little sausage dog. Sophie's really convinced that she now wants to get this dog. And no, I am getting one. I know she's gonna get. She so the, there's a dog that's pregnant. She's gonna have puppies this month, and if she has a girl, two girls. I can have one. I'm a bit nervous about getting this dog. We have um, a life of no responsibilities, typically, at the moment. We have to pay bills and pay mortgages or whatever. We so have to... great. Let's get some responsibilities. I know. You're not meant to not have any But we're going to have kids at some point. Probably loads of them. Probably about eight. We have about eight kids. Let... Touch and do you know why? Touch we'll have kids. But Touch secondly, we'll have kids. you aren't ready for kids because you are a kid yourself. Like, there's a lot of growing up on your end that you need to do before we have kids. What do I have to grow up? Like, I, I, You I'm... can't be getting let me, can I have a hug in front of the kids? And I have all eight kids being like, mommy, please, can I have a hug? And you to run and give a hug to you. I'll be like, I don't have enough arms. All right. Yeah, yeah I will huff at that. I want eight kids. <laughs> you know why I want eight kids? You actually do. I want Jamie eight kids. Jamie and I have had quite a few fights this last week. Jamie Loads keeps of fights. stomping his foot. Like he goes, he goes, oh, fine. And then he's like really cool about it. And then... I'm like, okay, sweet. And then he stomps his foot and goes, ah! I can't really explain what the fights are about, but... We've had a fair few fights, but yeah, I, I do. I want a lot of kids. You know why I want a lot of kids? Why? Because when... So you can have, like, a mafia? But yeah, or at Christmas time, I can dress them all up as, like, little husky dogs, attach them to a sleigh, and go mush, and they could bring me down, drag me down the King's Road on a little sleigh. On a growl. And I could go, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> No, but this, this. You would be. What would, what would be the problem with you having children? You'd be jealous of the attention they get over you. You would not be able to deal with them. Everyone's eyes will be on them at Christmas. They'll put on a show. They'll do a dance. Mommy, Daddy, look at me. And you'll be like, No, 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 look at me. What are we, the Von Trapp family? Why are they putting on. What show I are they did picking? That every Christmas. They, they put, they're putting on a show and singing and dancing. Yeah, did you not do that? What family did you grow up in? Not some stage school. <laughs> That's <laughs> not yours you grew up in. All I did was put on shows. Whatever it may be. Okay, anyway, Sophie wants to get this dog. And I am a little bit nervous about it because of the responsibility. I've never really looked after a dog before. You have, and you're amazing. You're like the dog whisperer. But it is a bit nerve-wracking because... What would you rather have? Uh, like I... a mouse? A mouse? I had two pet hamsters growing up. Both went missing. That is a lie. You had a pet hamster. You told me the story. Sophie had a pet hamster. Two, Chip and Biscuit. Okay. Chip was such a little bastard. He's biting me all over. <laughs> Biscuit was lovely. Sophie, this is this is the story of Sophie Pets. This is why I'm nervous about the dog. Sophie Pets. Sophie's Pets. Okay. okay. It sounds like a little bit. Sophie had one hamster, um, or it was a guinea pig. No, no hamster. It was a hamster. It was in my room. <laughs> <laughs> it was a hamster. And she had the hamster and she put it in one of those balls that they run around in. That ball then went over the top of the stairs, marble floor. It bounced, 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 smashed on the floor. And, and she looked at the hamster and it had, it had dislocated its arm and it was poking out its top. That's, right, what, that's okay, why I'm worried well, about pets. No, I later found out, I thought, I thought it dislocated its arm because it had like this thing. I was like, chip, running down the stairs as it was like, doo, 
doon, doon. And then I see the little hamster f- on the floor and they stand still and they look at you. And I was right at the top of the stairs, had this thing coming out of it. And my dad caught it and it wasn't, it was a treat that was like, they lodged them in the back of their throat. Like they, they store them in their little mouths. What is going yeah. on? It was, it's true. They store their, these things. That's why they have these big mouths. So it was actually a treat that like, it wasn't a spoon. Where was the treat coming out of? It wasn't poking out the skin. Where was it then? Just poking, like <laughs> forming a thing. Biscuit though. Wait, sorry. So the hamster, slow down. <laughs> the, <laughs> the hamster, chip. Your hamster, so this is where I'm worried, Chip. had, had yeah. rolled down it's the ginger stairs. Ginger and white. Had, so basically me. <laughs> <laughs> Chip had rolled down the stairs, bounced down the stairs, smashed at the bottom, and out of its skin was was a part of its food <laughs> that had stored in the back of his mouth. No, it wasn't out of its that skin. That is so traumatising no, for any child. It wasn't out of her skin. Listen up and listen clearly. All right, big it girl. It was like me when I eat and get bloated. Yes. It was like this, obviously the skin's so thin, this, like, this treat, which was like this little steak thing, was forming, it hadn't poked out or broken the skin, it was forming the vision of a arm sticking out of it. I've made no sense, but I so hope... So the food can... had been, it got such a fright, it swallowed all this food and lodged in the back of its body that had formed a mould of a treat at the back. <laughs> That's what happened to this hamster. It was outside of its neck, not its back. But I mean, all in all, they're quite small. And you, anyway, and you, I'm and you dump think, a, like animal cruelty over here. Yeah, it's not you didn't kick Chip over the edge. This is why I'm. I, I'm but Chip's fine. He lived on to tell the tale. Biscuit, however, who did he tell? Who did Chip tell? Who did Chip tell? His friends. Biscuit <laughs> went missing, never to be seen again. One day I came home from school and I said, Biscuit. I said, no, he's, he's not there. He was gone. And I swear, two years later, I could still hear him in the walls. <laughs> I swear, and I was convinced, convinced that he'd crept into the walls, and I was convinced that he'd found like a rat or a mouse, and he was going to have like rat babies. <laughs>